During a public rally in Matra, leader of the Janata Vimukti Paramuna Anura Kumar Desai Nayak expressed the following views. When information regarding the central bank bond scam were revealed at the presidential commission, President Sirisena returned from Dimulagala to Colombo immediately. He decided to visit the central bank. When President Sirisena visited the central bank, Arjuna Mahendran and Rani Vikramasinghe were both standing at the entrance to welcome the president. Just imagine how much of an effort the prime minister took to protect the central bank. However, he did not take such an effort to ensure security to the general public. If he was asked not to attend the Security Council's meeting, what steps did he take against it? Therefore, the people's security should not be handed over to the leaders of our country. When there was a threat of another attack during the end of April, Rani Vikramasinghe was asked to leave Colombo and he did. Can we expect such leaders to provide us with security? They are allocating funds to import bulletproof vehicles for the leader of the opposition. Mahindra Rajapaksa has two characters in one body. One is the former president of Sri Lanka and the other is the opposition leader. 100 million rupees is being allocated to renovate the official residence of Minister Kabir Hashim. These are all public funds. As claimed by Minister Anurag Kumar Zanayaka, 100 million rupees worth of funds to renovate Minister Kabir Hashim's official residence was allocated through the supplementary estimate that was presented to Parliament on Tuesday. Minister Lakshman Kiriala, who initially stated that the funds were not allocated for him, made the following statements in Parliament the day after Minister Kabir Hashim was reappointed to his ministerial portfolio. As the Minister of Public Enterprises, I did not obtain any house. I live in my own house. This house was obtained by Minister Kabir Hashim when he served as the Minister of Public Enterprise.